let's continue our journey now into PSA2. PSA2, the big identifier for PSA2 is that first term here, this A term, is no longer 1. But just before you go into PSA2, like headlong into it, try, always try, first try and always try to remove a common factor. Don't give up on GCF, okay? That's going to save you an abundance of time because if you can GCF it, you make the A equals to 1, guess what? You're just going to use plain old PSA 1 and you're good to go. But if you're stuck and it can't remove the factor, or if you remove a factor and the A is not 1 anymore, you're going to have to use PSA 2. What is PSA 2 all about? It's a factoring called the decomposition method. Okay? And then, guess what? You're going to be grouping. All right? So that's that group factoring and decomposition that is going to go crazy for you. Well, here we go. Let's take a look at this. Okay. The first question I have here is this, and I'm going to get back to this statement here in a second. Look at this one. One of the things I've always said is try to GCF first. Look at this. You can actually take out a negative 5 out of every single one of these. And if you take a negative 5 out, look what you've got. You've got a squared plus 4a, right, minus 12. And boy, I tell you, that's going to save you a lot of problems, isn't it? Product is minus 12. Sum is 4. You know and I know that's 6 and negative 2. Look at that. 6 plus negative 2. There's your 6. There's your negative 2. Everybody's happy. There's your first term up front. There's your x plus 6 here. There's your x minus 2 here. Guess what, baby? That was a PSA 1 and nothing different than what we've done for the last six podcasts or so. But here's where I want you to start looking at this. I'm going to erase this so it's not confusing us now. Take a look at this. This is a 2. Notice you cannot divide the 5 by 2. Rats. So GCF does not work at this point. So now what do you do? Well, here we go. What you're going to do is you're going to look for the product of AC. Huh? What do you mean? Air conditioning? No, 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 no. Watch. AX squared plus BX plus C. A and C, the first term and last term, are going to be multiplied together. That is going to be your product. Okay? And watch this. If you look at A and you look at C, you have now a product of 4. And the sum is still going to be the same thing. The sum is still going to be plus 5. See how it works? Watch. Two numbers together multiply to give me 4 are 2 and 2. And of course, 4 and 1. But 4 plus 1 is what gives you 5. That's the key. That's the reason why you're going to go with this number or this set of numbers right here. Notice, I'm going to leave the answer blank on this one. So how do we do this question? Watch this. This is going to freak you out at first. But once you get the hang of this, this is no problem at all. Look, the two y squared t is there. 5 is now a combination of these two numbers. 4y plus 1y. I didn't change anything. 4y and 1y still give you 5y. Put the last one in there. But now notice what I just did. I just made this four terms. And when you see four terms, you're going to group factor. And check this out. As soon as you group factor, you know and I know it's all GCF from here. There's the y plus 2. Take out, oh, I can't take anything out of this, can I? Well, yes, you can. You can always take out a 1, leaving you with y plus 2. And this is identical to the podcast that we just did from this point on. There's the two common factors, y plus 2. Take those out. And look what you have left, 2y plus 1. Isn't that just amazing how that works so beautifully by a method called the decomposition method, where you decompose the middle term to give you these guys so that you can group factor and get this. I think it just works incredibly splendidly well. Stay tuned for more podcasts and more examples.